hello friends today's question for you tell me something about a static class or we can say what is a static class well static class can have only static member it cannot be inherited and instantiated why it cannot be inherited and instantiated because it is internally sealed and abstract let's check it out I'm going to check intermediate language code using ILDSM tool. I have opened the ILDSM tool. Go to the exe. And here. See sealed and abstract so static class is decorated internally with sealed and abstract keyword what is the use of sealed and abstract keyword sealed when we decorate any class with the sealed keyword it stop that class to be inherited that class cannot be inherited anyway an abstract class abstract class stop that class to be instantiated so the static class neither can be inherited nor instantiated that feature it gets from the sealed and abstract so we know why the static class cannot be instantiated cannot be inherited the answer is yes it is sealed and abstract and it can have only static member only static member sta non static member is not allowed in static class There are some points that we need to remember while creating static class. When we create a static class, there are few things that we should remember always. We need to explicitly declare static every member. If it is not decorated with a static keyword, it will be considered instance member. Say with the example, a static class is already created. I am creating a member and emp id employee id. This is the member of static class. Let's build it. Cannot declare instance member in a static class. If we do not decorate this with static keyword, it is considered instance member. So decorate with the static class. Sorry, static keyword. Build. Build started. Succeeded. There is no error. Build succeed. So every member even in a static class we declare that must be decorated with the static keyword we cannot declare any local field static explicitly because it is implicitly static what is what do you what is the meaning of local field a local type public string get name string name Name is equal to name. See, local field meaning the scope. Whenever you declare any variable, the scope of that variable in local meaning that is accessible within the method is considered local variable. So this is the local variable declared within the class, and I haven't decorated with the static keyword because any local variable declared within a static class is implicitly static so if I declare a static keyword here see I'm not getting here intelligence to declare static even if I declare it I will get builder static is not valid for this item and here I have, uh, I have not declared a static so it is getting error so static is not valid for this item right static is not valid for this item so meaning of second paragraph is we cannot declare any local field static explicitly because it is implicitly static so this is clear let's move to the next question can we have constructor in static class yes we can have a static constructor a static class and that should be parameterless that should not be parameterized see 
let's first declare a parameterized what does it mean by parameterized string name this is the parameterized constructor see tell me if we compile it now will it give it me error yes because I haven't decorated with the static keyword yet now it will again give me the error because the static constructor cannot have parameterized constructor see a static constructor must be parameter list so remove this parameter build succeed so yes the static class can have only parameterless constructor why it, ha it should have parameterless constructor is because we cannot instantiate in a static class so the whatever value we pass into the argument suppose a string name the construct when we come when we instantiate and then we pass our value to the argument then it execute like this see employee emp is equal to new employee uh, sorry amar bell this is a static constructor must be parameterless this is a parameterless con it should be parameterless constructor because we cannot instantiate and we cannot call this constructor with by using a uh, new keyword this is the reason it is parameterless always and you know why we cannot instantiate because it is decorated with the abstract keyword the static internally abstract cannot have any modifier any and parameter it is always parameterless construct we know it is parameterless constructor what does it mean by modifier see modifier mean public suppose declared public access modifier not allowed static constructor Access modifier are not allowed in a static constructor. A static constructor must be parameterless constructor. These two, both paragraph is covered now. Let's move in our next video. <coughs> we will discuss some scenario based question. Like if a static class can have a static constructor, right? We know a static class can have a static and method. If you call method only, will the static constructor execute? We will see in this in our next video. Thanks, like and subscribe for more videos.